in this video we are going to see how to check the gl balances so for that we have a standard transaction code f.08 so once you go inside this transaction code uh, it will show you the chart of account company codes and the gl account it's same as uh, your financial transaction like uh, i will show you financial transaction decode again slash n f.01 so this is something where you will have a financial transaction, you will have a ledger, currencies, company code and all other details, but it is financial statement. Okay, so then uh, this is a T code F.08 is a T code which uh, will help you out to find the GL balances. So what I will do is uh, I will just put the Tata Motors operational is my chart of account. If I want to check for any specific GL account, I can give the GL account or else I can give the company code. So I will give the company code as Tata Motors US. And here the posting period uh, I can give and the fiscal year and all other details I can give. Okay, uh, then I can execute it. So you can see here, uh, this is how the statement looks like. The GL balances, what is the previous year balance or a previous uh, period balance. And uh, this will show what is the debit balance. And what is your credit balance? What is your accumulated balance? Okay, so this is how you can see the balances and it will be useful tool for the business users and they can get these details and along with that there are few functionality also we have here like a ledger so if i put the ledger to l if i execute it it will give the details of the 2l ledger and i will go back and even if you see the currency here so it is showing up the currency as usd and I also have the option of putting a currency type here. So I will put a currency. The group currency is 30 here. So let's put the group currency 30. And we can see INR here. Same way, uh, we have multiple company codes here. So let me put other company codes also. Tata Motors India and Tata Motors GB, Great Britain. Okay, and I will execute it. So here you can see, uh, first uh, we have a uh, details. So here, uh, let me go to the top. Yeah, so here you will have a company code and you can have the details of uh, each transaction. So you are looking at the currency INR and these are the transactions, debit credit transaction and your closing balances. Same way for Tata Motors US also, you are you will see the balances in INR and for other company code Tata Motors GB also, you can see the transactions and their balances. If I switch to company code currency, that is basically 10 and I execute it. So for uh, Great Britain, it is showing in GBP. For US, it is showing in USD. Tata Motors US, it is showing in USD. And let's scroll down. I think uh, we don't have any transactions for India, I think. So that is the reason it is not showing up or else if any transactions are there, it will show uh, for Tata Motors India, it will show INR. Okay, so this is how uh, we can make use of uh, these transactions and uh, make use of uh, this T code uh, like uh, F.08 for creating or uh, extracting any balances report. Thank you. Or maybe what I will do is, let's do it for leading ledger. So for leading ledger, if I execute it, 
So here we can see for leading ledger, we have some transactions. For Great Britain, we have GBP and for India, we have INR currencies. And for US, we have USD currencies. So this way we can look at all the currencies. If I change this to 30, and if I execute it, so you will see INR everywhere. Even if it is a company code is different, we'll see INR because group currency we have considered as a INR. And we can also see the balances over here. Okay, so for 2L ledger, I have not posted any transaction for India, I think. So that is the reason it is not showing up. Okay, other than that, uh, you have additional functionalities like here. You can put all your uh, criteria like created by created or company code or account currencies. All this information, you can put a filter and you can extract the report. Thank you once again.